highly effective vaccines to combat COVID-19 have been developed in record time, thanks to the scientific community's rapid response to the COVID-19 outbreak and years of dedicated research. Remarkably, one key innovation is powering many of the leading vaccines. It was made by a small team of scientists at the National Institutes of Health and the University of Texas at Austin. What they've learned and designed is changing the world. Dr. Jason McClellan is a coronavirus specialist at the University of Texas who focuses on the spike protein at the heart of this innovation. It's the part of the virus now being used safely in many vaccines. McClellan and his collaborators started looking at coronaviruses back in 2013 and discovered how to thwart one of the virus's tricks for making it past our immune system. To do so, the spike protein shapeshifts. In order for the coronavirus to infect cells, the spike proteins, which decorate the surface, have to undergo a, a shape change. And so they start off in a shape that I sort of think reminds me of a mushroom. It has a cap and a stalk. It then binds the receptors via the cap. The cap then falls off and the stalk elongates and shoots into the host cell membrane. Our immune systems are much better at producing antibodies to defend against coronaviruses when the spike is in the first shape versus once it's transformed into the second shape. We want to train the body to recognize the active form of the molecule, the form that's their shape that's dangerous, that, that can infect us. You can think of it like a bear trap that exists in two conformations, an open, dangerous form, and then a closed form. You wouldn't want to train somebody to only recognize the closed form. That, that wouldn't help them avoid the open, dangerous form. And so that's what we're doing with the immune system. We want to train our bodies to recognize the dangerous shape of the spike protein, generate antibodies against it, and prevent it from binding to our cells and from infecting us. Step one is getting a picture of the dangerous form. McClellan's lab produced a perfectly detailed 3D image of the spike using cutting-edge imaging technology called cryo-electron microscopy. So that takes us from a cartoonish model of what the spike looks like to this detailed map, a blueprint, of where all the atoms and residues are in the protein we can see which portions of the molecule change shape and which ones stay the same. Next, the scientists make tiny tweaks to the protein. In understanding the transition, we can go in and kind of put in little molecular staples to, to lock regions together and, and tether them and act like a bell, hold, help hold it together. McClellan and colleagues published their results in Science in February 2020. When vaccine makers around the world needed a coronavirus antigen, they chose this tweaked spike protein from the NIH and Texas team for the strong immune response it produces. This work shows the benefits of basic science research, trying to understand the structure and function of viruses, their proteins, uh, and then also using that information to engineer antigens that can be used in vaccines. We've been thrilled with the uh, announcements of the vaccine efficacy with uh, Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna announcing 95% efficacy. It's really ecstatic and it's, it's great for the world.